Hi, cartographers. Dr. Jason Van Horn, professor of geography at Calvin University here. Have you ever wanted to download satellite imagery inside of ArcGIS Pro? Or have you wanted to just grab an area of interest from really high resolution 10 centimeter to 40 centimeter satellite imagery and then use it right away inside of Arc Pro? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that with a new tool that's been released by Skywatch. So let's get started now. This free tool can be found on the ArcGIS Marketplace by searching Earth Cache, as you see on my screen here. And then click the Get It Now, and you'll fill out the details here on this page to get the actual application to download it. You have to click the console in the upper right to get the file once you've filled all this out. Back in ArcGIS Pro, a new ribbon will be created called Earth Cache, where you can click on the button to create an account. This will launch a browser, and then you'll be able to fill in your details to get your account set up. Once you've done this and created your account and gone through all those steps, you'll be able to go back to ArcGIS Pro, and you'll be able to log in here. Once you log in, then you'll have access to all of the imagery inside of ArcGIS Pro. So here I've logged in to my Earth Cache account, and now you can see the ribbon has expanded so that we can actually get imagery and search for it, as well as order it and download it. So here we're going to search for imagery. I'll click this button, and now I get a new pane where I can set all the parameters for my search. So you can see the very first option here, we have a search for area of interest. Here we can also choose to add in a layer. We have start and end dates, and we can choose the kind of imagery we want based on resolution as well as cloud cover. So let's go ahead and define an area of interest. I'll zoom here to Calvin University where I'm at. And now let's see here. Okay, I'm going to draw an area of interest. So I click on the little icon here. It pops me into editor and then I'll fast forward and here's my result of what I want to download. This is the area of interest I'm interested to download. I'll adjust the start date to be the first of the year. I'll keep everything else the same. And let's go ahead and move this thing over to a different place in Arc Pro. Drag the pane over here so you can see it a little better. Okay, so now I can go ahead and click on Run, and a search will be done based on the parameters for this tool. It's pretty amazing. So as it searches here, let's go ahead and move these results uh, so you can see them not in the lower pane, but to the right. There we go. Okay. So we have a lot of results uh, here for this uh, year uh, related to this level of um, imagery. I'll choose this first one here, and let's go ahead and preview it on the map just so we can see it. The previews are very coarse in resolution. Um, so here you can see my area of interest, uh, and that's that looks good. So let's scroll all the way down here, all the images, and let's go ahead and set a keyword here. Uh, so it's a key tag uh, just linked to this particular download. So I'll go ahead and type in here what I want for my keyword, and you can change this or leave it default. It's up to you. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here, and you'll see the order option. So here I can click on order, and it's free. Uh, I'll confirm that that's what I want, and then it downloads. So now what we need to do is go up to this download uh, folder uh, or pane as it opens up uh, and just see. We have uh, several in here. It looks like we've got uh, some samples. So here... Uh, when you download this, you it comes with four samples, so you can see the different resolutions. And the top one here is mine. It doesn't take very long to download. Um, here you can see we're, we're just going to refresh using that little tool there, right? So we refresh, and you can see that it's active. Uh, and uh, in this case, it's, it's probably going to take no more than two minutes uh, to process. You'll get an email about uh, the whole thing completing, um, and you'll get the email later than when it's actually processed. So we can just click on uh, the refresh button whenever we're ready. And you can see it's ready. So it's completed. And now we can just simply add it. It looks like it took about 30 seconds to complete. So we can check it here. 
in the checkbox. And then what we'll do is we'll just choose to bulk download and it'll just download that one. Get a little uh, confirmation box, we'll say yes and we'll let it download. You can choose your download folder from the ribbon as well if you don't want it to be just your regular downloads, you want it to go somewhere else. Great. Now let's jump over to add data and we'll add this particular raster here. I'm in my downloads folder. And let's go ahead and scroll over and expand this. We're looking for the TIFF at the top. So here it is, you can see that. And so I'll select it and I will uh, hit OK. And now it's added to my data view and we'll choose yes for statistics, calculate those, and there we go. And so let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's adjust this, there we go. And that looks good. And so now we have the higher resolution imagery uh, that we're looking for for this download. And what's so special about this, I love this because you can download just based on area of interest. And this is free for us, but if you have paid data that you download through Earth Cache, well then you're only paying per square kilometer in the download right here inside of ArcGIS Pro. That's exceptional and a great way to deliver data for your projects. For the imagery that does cost something, it's based on per square kilometer costs, and I'll put a link in the description below of those prices. Of course, if you're interested in the high resolution imagery, uh, we can do a search for that as well. So we'll turn that off and turn this one on, same parameters here. And now we can hit run and see what we get. In this case, we're going to see fewer uh, satellite images uh, available, but it will cover just our area of interest. So here is one of our results, and we can see here uh, that it has a cost associated with it, uh, which means that if we were to download this high resolution 10 to 40 centimeter image, we're gonna have to pay. We could adjust here the, the key uh, word tag uh, for this, and none of that releases uh, the, the, the cost. So here, you know, you can pay or put your account uh, details in, in this ribbon uh, with your credit card, uh, with your organization or what, and you know, you're just, unless you put that in, you're not going to get access to this imagery. But it's here and it's awesome. So check out the sample and thanks for checking out this video with this awesome tool by Skywatch called EarthCache. Thanks.